Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy this story. I'm going to try and upload a new story each day. The Desolate Dollhouse Ollie shivered as she stepped onto the ferry bound for the Isle of Wight. She had inherited an old house there from a distant relative she never knew existed until the lawyer's letter arrived. The thought of leaving behind her bustling city life for a desolate island filled her with a mix of excitement and dread. Arriving at the island, Holly was greeted by a thick fog that seemed to blanket the entire landscape. The air felt heavy, laden with secrets and forgotten whispers. As she made her way to the house, her unease grew with each step. The old mansion stood like a sentinel against the mist, its windows dark and foreboding. Inside, the house creaked and groaned as if it were alive, welcoming its new inhabitant with a sinister embrace. Holly's footsteps echoed through the empty halls as she explored the dusty rooms filled with antique furniture and faded tapestries. But it was the dollhouse in the attic that captured her attention. The dollhouse was a perfect replica of the mansion itself, down to the tiniest detail. Holly couldn't help but marvel at the craftsmanship as she peered through the miniature windows. Inside, tiny figures resembling her own family members stood frozen in time, their painted eyes following her every move. As she rearranged the dolls to mirror her family's positions in the real house, a chill ran down Holly's spine. She couldn't shake the feeling that she was being watched, that something sinister lurked in the shadows. That night, Holly dreamt of a haunting melody that seemed to emanate from the dollhouse itself. She awoke to find the real family members behaving strangely, their movements jerky and unnatural as if they were puppets on strings. Terrified, Holly turned to the dollhouse for answers, but what she found only deepened the mystery. The miniature figures had taken on a life of their own, their tiny mouths twisted into cruel smiles as they whispered secrets of the past. As the days passed, the island seemed to close in around Holly, trapping her in a nightmare from which she couldn't escape. The dollhouse became her only refuge, a twisted mirror of the horrors unfolding in the real world. Desperate for answers, Holly delved into the history of the house, uncovering dark secrets buried beneath layers of time. She learned of a family torn apart by tragedy, the spirits trapped within the walls of the mansion, forever bound to the dollhouse that mirrored their own demise. But as Holly unraveled the mysteries of the past, she realized that the true horror lay not in the ghosts that haunted the house, but in the darkness that lurked within her own soul. For in the end, it was Holly herself who became the final piece in the desolate dollhouse, forever trapped in a twisted game of life and death. As the days stretched into weeks, Holly's grip on reality began to slip. The lines between the dollhouse and the real world blurred, and she found herself unable to distinguish between the two. Every time she looked into the miniature windows, she saw glimpses of her own future, each more horrifying than the last. The island itself seemed to conspire against her, its misty tendrils wrapping around her like cold, clammy fingers. Shadows danced in the corners of her vision, and whispers echoed through the empty halls, taunting her with promises of salvation that never came. Driven to the brink of madness, Holly knew she had to break free from the dollhouse's grasp. But every attempt to escape was met with failure, as if some unseen force were determined to keep her prisoner within its walls. As her sanity unraveled, Holly began to suspect that the dollhouse held the key to her salvation. She pored over every inch of the miniature mansion, searching for clues hidden within its intricate design. And finally, she found it. In the attic of the dollhouse, tucked away in a forgotten corner, Holly discovered a tiny figure that bore a striking resemblance to herself. Its eyes gleamed with a malevolent light, and Holly knew that it held the power to set her free. With trembling hands, she reached out and grasped the tiny figurine, feeling a surge of energy course through her veins. And in that moment, the world around her shifted and warped, reality bending to her will. When Holly opened her eyes, she found herself standing outside the mansion, the fog swirling around her like a cloak of shadows. But the dollhouse was nowhere to be seen, its twisted form banished to the depths of her memories. With a newfound sense of purpose, Holly set out into the night, determined to leave the horrors of the island behind her. But as she disappeared into the mist, a faint laughter echoed in her ears, a chilling reminder that some nightmares never truly end. Thank you for listening, I hope you enjoyed this story. Please don't forget to like and even better like and subscribe. Thank you very much and I hope you have had or have a great day.